What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon X Randomizer Egglock. Previously, we just spent the whole episode hatching eggs to see if we could find a replacement to our Pyroar that we lost the video before that. And ultimately, I decided to go with Halucha. Now, <clears throat> I remember when we got the NC and the Dene and whatnot, and we found we got access to ability capsules, we were able to use ability capsules to change their abilities to be randomized. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but I'm not able to switch Halucha's ability away from Limber. Which is fine, because I believe his hidden ability would have been Unburden, and honestly, that can be a little bit broken. Um, so, I just said, you know what, it's fine, because it just protects me from getting paralyzed. That's really all the specialty that it gives me. Um, I did teach him Needle Arm, just because that was one of the only TMs he could actually learn. That and, I think, Steel Wing. Which, Steel Wing would be good against Rock-types and Ice-types, but we already have Fighting which is going to be good against those. And then fairy types, which I don't see myself leaving this guy in on a fairy type. Um, I didn't rare candy him up to catch up to the team. I kind of just was like, you know what? We're going to be doing a lot of battling anyways. We have the experience share on. I'm just going to throw a lucky egg on him and he'll catch up as we go along. And kind of, maybe possible. I hope that he's caught up by the time we're done with all the team four stuff. Because there is quite a bit for us to do. And the magical number of the next gym leader's ace is 70. Level 70. Also, also, as a bit of another plus... Um, we can look at it as like if Halucha is not a good fit, then it's fine. That's crazy. 10% chance to freeze. Absolutely bonkers. But, um, I can look at it as like. We get a free, we get a basically a free legendary because we have the master ball. And I think, I want to say it's going to be level 60. So, um, <clears throat> that's pretty good for us. Especially if we get something good from it. Alright, Venomara. We know you can be an absolute menace, so we're not taking you lightly at all. But yeah, I I can't believe that our Pyro is gone, man. That was our starter. Too. I think some people might forget that just because we had Aurora at the same time basically, then we got Cheese. Mike. We haven't changed up our team, like, hardly at all. This is, like, the first team change we've had. Where we're re replacing something. All series. And it just didn't, it just didn't feel good. Oh, shit. We fight him. We fight him right here. At least he doesn't have... Any guaranteed Mega Evolution. But he has a Shaman Sky. Now, let me just think for a second. I don't think Shaman has a good level up learn set. Yeah, it just goes for Leech. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. What? Why do I feel...
No, it is. It is on. Okay. I thought I was tweaking. I'm like, why haven't I seen the Halucha level up? But no, it has. Alright, Ribeiro. This is his ace. That's interesting. And we have speed. Bye, buddy. Umbreon. It's so weird because we haven't recorded this in a little bit. Probably about a week, actually. So going from Massimo, where it's like, oh god, can I actually do this? To playing where it's like, you don't really have the rules and restrictions. Like, it's... <laughs> it threw me off for a second. It's like, can I actually go into DNC? Am I allowed to do that? And it's like, yeah, there's no challenge. There's nothing saying you can't do this. Play. Yeah, we're gonna be in for a lot of team thick fights. Especially once we go down and try to catch Zarnius. That's gonna be... That's gonna be kinda night, nightmarish. How many battles we have to do in the team of six. Alright, Venusaur, this could be a Mega. is our best bet and we just try to go for a flying move because if Venusaur hits us with the grass move, yes, it'll be super effective but we'll eat it. But he doesn't now speed us. Protein Aurorus is so good for us. This would be good for any sort of mod in this situation. So, like, what's a mod that has multiple quad weaknesses? Uh, Parasect. Um. No, th there's other mods that have multiple quad, we quad weaknesses. I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head, though. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Motherfucker's holding the King's Rock. Okay, buddy. What's what's going on here with the random held items actually coming in clutch for the AI? Because, spoiler, if you haven't watched the video where we lost our Pyroar, he died because we were fighting a Kinkelder. Now, I just want to... I just want to preface this, because if you didn't watch the video, or if you haven't been really watching the series, then you would be like, why the hell would you have a Pyro in against a Kelder? Because our Pyro had Aerial 8, which means his Hyper Voices became Flying-type moves. So I'm hitting him with a special Flying-type move, basically, and I'm getting stabbed for it. Like, that's literally perfect. And I was worried about it. No, this is his ace. Holy shit, 59. Um, and I'm like, I'm literally getting stabbed for it, so it's, you know what, it's whatever. And then I was like, oh shit, what if I don't kill this thing? So I was like, alright, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And then he went for a focus punch. I was like, oh, never mind. I'll hit him. Even if I don't kill him, he won't be able to attack me. Then I hit him next turn and he dies. No. Mansell's holding a bright powder, and the first turn of the battle, it pop, it, it saves him. It bothered me so much. Are you serious right now? He just naturally lived on one. No sturdy, no nothing. No focus ash. He's on the black slide. so bad because I was like, oh, I'm taking a risk. And I was like, no, I'm not taking a risk. 
Like I had a roller coaster of emotions in about a, a thirty second window. But Yeah, Mabel is the one who has the elevator key, and guess what? We played her last. Do we have... You have a full resort. This is... <coughs> Excuse me. Most opportune time to have one. Alright, let's go... This way. You're quad week to rock, so. Oh, you may outspeed me. You're not doing any sort of big damage. Alright, we're already at 27, which is more than perfect. You see. The day I'm recording this, um, we had streamed Generations in Master Mode uh, last night, and we were doing the stream where we had to do all the Gym Leader and Team Star rematches, and on top of that, beat the Teal Mask DLC. So we were, we did like thir 13, I think, like important battles, pretty much back to back to back. And so my team, oh, poor Dastard on that. That just, that hurts him so bad. Cause that means, man's just gonna get popped by solar beams. Hate to see it. Um, so my team, which we had just beaten like area zero and all that stuff. Man's counteracting his ability. Go for him. So we had just beaten area zero and all that stuff. So my team was about like the 68 to 72 range. After like all those rematches, it's like I pretty much have a team of like high 70s now. Almost 80. So that's how I'm going to feel doing this because there's so many just important battles to do in such a short stretch. In this area, there's a lot, but... I don't know, the gauntlet of running against all of the admins. I don't know. Hey, that's how I felt when we had to do the Kimono Girl, uh, the Kimono Dance Theater. In Heart Gold. And the thing is, I would randomize it to do that every single time. It's just... Our luck with what we ran into. And the fact that we were pretty underleveled. So we have already have worse mods than what we're fighting against. And we're underleveled. So... It wasn't really a no-brainer that uh, we were going to lose there. It's pretty much how I felt. But the fact that we got, what, we got to the last person before we got swept by a Magnumortar and a Caesar combination? Which, again, even going back and watching that death montage, I'm like, how the hell did Magnumortar just outspeed, like, most everything I had? Now, my team wasn't necessarily the fastest. I had a lot of problems with ability rolls in that randomizer, so I would like to run it again. I'd really like to run Sacred Gold again, but I would like to run through that. I'd like to run through Heart Gold like that, but maybe make it to where it's like, oh, I can only use, I don't know, maybe I have to use only Generation 2 Pokemon. So basically... Similar to the series we have here, but I 
I have to catch my stuff. So it's not a guarantee that I get good stuff every single time. And with the level booster and everything, especially in Heart Gold, it's it catches up to you before you fucking know it. All right, Volcarona. I mean, we obviously. I don't think I have any antidotes or anything like that. I was lucky to have a Floral Sword. I mean, I know there's beds you can heal at. But... I think we have to wait a little bit before we get to those beds. Oh, you got the Rock Berry. Thank you, we'll take this. Interesting too. Like, I thought the Gastrodon was gonna have the Rindo Berry. Maybe he had a Jamp Rock. Maybe that's what he had. I don't know. Jellybird? Oh. He heard us talking about the end of the Heart Gold series and he's like, I'm back. You wanna know what's even you wanna know what's crazier? Is that I think when we played Reborn, because when we did Reborn, Reborn's a much harder game than I would probably put money on it and saying that's the hardest Pokemon game you could actually play. Hardest fan made game. Like, there were genuinely points in that where like I had to restart battles over and over and over again. I remember I told myself, yeah, I'm gonna mess up through this game. It was like four years ago now. And I learned the hard way. Do not Nuzlocke that game. Because if you go on the, their Wikipedia and see how they do stat spreads and EVs and IVs and whatnot, there are literally points where their EVs and IVs are uh, so beyond illegal. Like, you can have 31 IVs. You can, you can have 31 IVs in each stat. That's legit. That's something you can do. I know about that, but there's times, or there's battles, and I want to say these are battles probably towards the end of the game. Where they have 252. So ma the maximum EV in every fucking stat. I'm like, why would you do that? Hmm. All right, Toro. So we're like ten levels higher than pretty much everything we're fighting against. I mean, boss battle wise, we're about five, but grunts and whatnot. We're looking at about time. I like to clear out as much of this area as I possibly can in this video. So the fact that we got through the first admin, oh my god. That's crazy that my confusion did about the same amount of damage as his Zen headbutt. is already 32. I was really hoping he could learn Bolt Strike. I was really hoping. That would have been one of the more insane moves I could teach him, but... You know, it is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna take Aurora's out of the front because it's 66 right now. It doesn't need to hog all of the experience or all the, the front. Okay, 
I'm not talking to them just because their dialogue isn't necessarily important right now. Alright, we gotta go this way. Oh, I just wasted that potion. Because this is where you get the heals. Motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, here's another fossil. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks for giving this to me. Now, of all places. Professional people can battle too. Yeah, sure. Strongman Chloe. Okay. Flag's there. Bud. I have just a move for you. It's crazy. There's so many groundwater types that are just like so derpy. I love them. I don't know why. You got Quagsire. You got Gastrodon. You got Mega Swampert. Ooh. This is actually going to be interesting. You know what? This is a risk. But I don't know what our difference is between our attack and special attack, even though he just leveled up. I was just not paying attention to it. Just keeping it as real as I can. But I'm going to take Outrage over Dragon Pulse. That way it gives us two physical moves and it gives us two special moves to work with. And I still remember with the Dene he had cheese. He's cheesing because he's got transformed. So if we run into something super insane, we can always transform into it. But really, transform would only be good if we were. I mean, no, it, it can still it can still be good. Let me let me not sit here and say that it's not good because it could still be good. I was gonna say that it's not as good because we're over leveled and we would copy the stats, but that's not necessarily true. Like it's still. Oh, decent. Let me check your attack and special attack off, good. One point difference. All right, screw it. Let's go for outrage. See how much this does. Mm. I thought that. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. That is the, the right about of damage. I was kind of thinking it would kill. Confusion or no? Ooh. Nah. Screw it. Ooh, this is a big bulky Garatina, too. He outspeeds. And goes for an Aura Sphere. You're telling me you don't have a Dragon-type move on this guy? That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird you don't have a dragon move on a Giratina, but... Right, how much more of this can we... clear out? Strongman Noel. Gotta write you. Okay. See you later, write you. Level sixty four. Del Fox. Hmm. I'll switch. I'll switch. Get someone else in shine. 
Get someone else on this guy. There's no way. No, we definitely get to. I'm. There's so much we have to do before we go on. Like, like, we have the entire team player then. We have a couple of routes um, that are on the way to Snowbell City. We have the infamous Rival Battle Bridge, which is three important junior battles back to back to back. Yeah, we're we're absolutely we're absolutely fine in terms of levels. No, no chance we're not. Right. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is that, um, this is an optional battle. Like, I think a lot of people don't realize that when you come into this phase. I mean, a lot of people do just straight up skip these two. I probably should have went for Outrage. I was thinking, ooh. Uh, okay, we kill at least. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Actually, it would have probably it might have been worse if we didn't hit him three times. Blissey. Oh, this is so unbelievably free. I'm feeling dangerous. I am feeling dangerous. I know I am making a stupid play. Potentially. But the amount, the amount of experience I could get from this thing is the reason why I'm doing it. And I outspeed. Lychee Berry? Oh, don't kill me. It doesn't. Yes. Yes. I'm not just going to pick up a kill against the Blissey that's 20 levels higher than him. That's awesome. I just wanna I wanna see the amount of experience we get from this thing. Oh baby. We're gonna take that 10k experience to the bank. An absolutely beautiful job. I am proud of you, my boy. Gardevoir. Yep, you can you can see yourself out. If this thing is mega, that's a pro. Well, maybe it's not. I feel like a lot of psychic types have a iffy level up learn set. They get they get a lot of good moves, but they have iffy learn sets. Okay, go through them. That's fine. You don't have Diamond Storm. And we get the defense buff. Okay, boost the accuracy of your next move. Like what? Oh, Palm Mine. Great. Ooh, a swamp bird. You know what? Screw it. Actually, I just realized I'm probably not out of speaking yet. Oh, he's going for the water. We eat this. No, he lowered our accuracy, and of course, it goes into effect immediately.
have no idea how much that actually just saved me. Don't I get confused off of that? Oh no, I have own tempo! <laughs> Psych boy, you think you're gonna get the chance? No. You're not. I was like, I was really sitting here, I'm like, yeah, I really just lost my DM. Why are you delaying the inevitable? You trying to get the reads? Oh shit, he has free try on his Greninja. You think that's gonna do anything? You're dead. You're dead regardless. Do we have pedal dance on you? No, we have seed flare. Oh, come on, son. Come on. Actually, I don't think you're in your good seeds. And you can't, I don't think, you don't say come on, it. That's, that just doesn't flow off the tongue, right. Just doesn't sound right, but yeah, that's too, like, super ultra-powerful moves that you have. No shot, you rock. Buddy is rocking a focus ash. Not PTSD from some of these things, living on 1 HP. With focus ashes, without focus ashes. Meow stick. This sucks because I don't have any dark type moves on my Greninja. I think we just go Aurora. The thing is, I'm pretty sure Meow Stick's like best stat is its speed. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, I don't know if his abilities are going to change based on its gender. Because usually that's the case because the male ones usually have pro character. Wrong keyword. Prankster. But obviously, this is a randomizer. Or they might just carry the same. They might just carry the same ability. Alright, Nacho's up 40. He's level 16 to start this video, so. That's awesome. And I think we jump straight into the next battle. Yeah, so we're just gonna wrap up the video here because we're already at 33 minutes, 34 minutes. Um, we're gonna start the next video immediately anyways. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button down below to be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you wanna see more um, Pokemon X from me or if you wanna see other stuff that I do. That'd be awesome. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.